801,000 Marylanders are now fully vaccinated. And today, Governor Larry Hogan announced six more mass vaccination sites will be opening up across the state. Amy Simpson live in Annapolis with details on this for us today. Amy. Mary, the governor says Maryland is averaging more than 43,000 shots a day right now. The state entering phase two of its vaccination plan just today and a week from now by March 30th. That's when we'll enter into phase 2B. And then by April 13th, that's when we'll enter phase 2C. And Governor Hogan says no later than April 27th. Phase three will make all Marylanders age 16 and above eligible for COVID-19 vaccines. But six more mass vaccination sites will be opening in counties across the state over the next five weeks. Governor Hogan says the state has been building an infrastructure capable of doing 100,000 shots a day here in Maryland. We uh, currently have uh, more than 2,500 points of distribution uh, and we, that will grow by hundreds more to over 3,000 different places to get a vaccine. We're going to be adding hundreds of doctor's offices and pharmacies. Uh, in addition to expanding the reach of our, our community clinics throughout uh, because of the work of our uh, equity task force operation. Now, here's what we know about the six addi additional mass vaccination sites coming here to Maryland. Sites are coming to Baltimore and Montgomery counties the week of April 5th. The Timonium Fairground site will now transition into a state-run site, and a new site will open at Montgomery, Montgomery College in Germantown. Then the week of April 12th, that's when sites will open in Frederick and Anne Arundel counties. And by the end of the month, Howard and Harford counties will also receive mass vaccination sites. That means by the end of April, Maryland will have a total of 12 mass vaccination sites. And today I pressed the governor about more information related to the locations of those other mass vaccination sites coming here to Maryland. Now, uh, he would not give more details. Meanwhile, Anne Arundel County says its site will likely be at Navy Stadium, though it is not 100% confirmed at this point. And in Harford County, I'm told the county executive is lobbying for Ripken Stadium. Patrice, good morning. So way back in early February, this Baltimore Convention Center transformed into a mass vaccination site. Well, Governor Larry Hogan again announcing yesterday that we're going to see similar transformation in the coming weeks. He says there will be adding six new sites over the next five weeks. And this is what we know so far about the timeline for those new locations. We know as of the week, April 5th, sites are coming to Baltimore and Montgomery counties. The Timonium Fairgrounds site will transition into a state-run site, and then a new site will open at Montgomery College in Germantown. The governor says the state is averaging more than 43,000 daily shots, but he also adds the state has been building an infrastructure capable of doing 100,000 shots a day in Maryland. We uh, currently have uh, more than 2,500 points of distribution. Uh, and we, that will grow by hundreds more to over 3,000 different places to get a vaccine. We're going to be adding hundreds of doctor's offices and pharmacies. Uh, in addition to expanding the reach of our, our community clinics throughout uh, because of the work of our uh, equity task force operation. For the week of April 12th, science will open in Frederick and Anne Arundel counties. And by the end of the month, Howard and Harford counties will also receive mass vaccination sites. This means by the end of April, Maryland will have a total of 12 mass vaccination sites. Well, Fox 45 asked the governor about exact locations of the other sites coming to Maryland. He wouldn't give more details on that, but we know from Anne Arundel County, they say most likely their mass vaccination site will be at Navy Stadium. We're live in downtown Baltimore this morning. Rachel Aragon, Fox 45. Morning news.